What's going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV and movie podcast and today I got for you Big Brother 25 live feed update episode 67. So as we know, Bowie won HOH, man. What a shocker. You already know, man. Nobody was expecting that, but me personally, I never underestimated nobody, not even Felicia. As long as you have a beating heart, you're capable of winning a competition. I don't care who you are. So never underestimate your opponent. And Bowie rose up to the occasion, even though she guessed 27. But anyway, so we see after the uh, the HOH competition, uh, people want to go and talk to the HOH. And basically, Bowie's telling everybody, yo, it's going to be Sari and Felicia on the block. Um... I caught a conversation with Blue, and uh, Blue basically tells Bowie that she caught a stray, or Bowie caught a stray from Mimi. When Mimi left the house, she exposed Corey in America, but also she said Bowie's name too, and everybody was just confused on why she said Bowie's name. I would love to hear an interview from Mimi on why she said Bowie's name. Uh, I'm pretty sure the people asked her that question. So I'm, I'm probably gonna actually go check those interviews out now. Um, but yeah, so um, basically, Blue says, "Yo, I didn't really believe what Mimi said. Any uh, what Mimi said." And uh, Bowie's like, "All right." And then Bowie asks Blue, "Yo, if you were Hoh, who would you nominate on the block?" And Blue says, "It wouldn't be you, Matt, or Jag." And Bowie's like, "Good, good, good." And then um, yeah, so after I saw that conversation, I saw Cameron and Jag talk to each other and. Cameron basically tells Jag, yo, it's time. It's time to put Corey on the block and take that shot. And Jag's just, you know, he, he, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say much. He's just listening. And Cameron's like, yo, bro, it, you know, it's time. We, If we do this move, we officially have Blue because they're worried that Blue might take a shot at them. And so Cameron's just basically telling Jag that since Blue really wants Corey out, if they get, take make this move against Corey, that they, they officially have Blue as a number. And so heading into next week, if they get rid of Corey, it'd just be five against three, which would be Cameron, Blue, Jag, Matt, and um, and a blue, and a, who's a fifth person? There's a there's a fifth person. Oh, Bowie, Bowie. And versus America, Sari, and Felicia. And yeah, that that's Cameron's idea. And he basically says, like, yo, getting rid of Corey now makes more sense than getting rid of me, you know, when I when he was on the block. And Jack's listening, but doesn't say much. And I'm thinking Cameron, yo, I don't think Bowie wants to get rid of Corey. If you, Cameron, if you wanted Corey out, you had the perfect opportunity when you were HOH. Why didn't you take that shot? You can't rely on other people to do your dirty work, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cameron. It is what it is. But I'm thinking that Corey might not be the target for this week. That they might actually shift their target to Cameron now. Because just how Cameron was saying they had a perfect opportunity to get rid of Corey now, they're thinking... You had the perfect opportunity last week when you were HOH. This is a new week. I think Jag might want to keep Corey instead of Cameron now just because they realize that Cameron's going to be hard to beat. But we'll see. We'll see. We see that before the nomination ceremony, America talks to Bowie and says she wants Cameron and Blue on the block. And after that conversation, um, America... Like talks to Matt and then basically saying how Blue's acting weird, how Blue might be working with Cameron now because Blue was saying how she wanted Cameron now a couple of days ago. Now when she has a conversation with Blue, it's more of like, I don't think she put up, I don't think Bowie would put up Cameron, you know, sort of thing and how Blue would want Sari and Felicia on the block now. So America doesn't trust Blue at all. And... You know, it's funny to see, you know, America talk to Matt about Blue and then Blue talk to Matt about America and Corey. It's like Matt's in the best position in the game right now because 
he's just getting all the information from all sides of the house and he doesn't have to worry about anybody saying his name because nobody's saying his name. And then we finally see that Bowie nominates Felicia and Sari on the block. And um, yeah, so Cameron obviously wants a backdoor plan against uh, Corey. He also tells Jack that, hey, it doesn't matter who's on the block. We got the four votes to send who we want home. So as long as one of us wins veto, Corey's ass going on the block and you know Cameron feels confident that that's gonna happen because since Bowie's HOH but I don't know man I don't know let me know what y'all guys think there's been a TV and movie podcast and for listening and watching I'll see you guys in the next episode bless up and peace